I used to wait outside the stage door, you know, for Frankie Lane. Dates me, doesn't it? But, <laughs> no, that's true. I used to do that. And uh, you used to get some kids and say, oh, you know, so-and-so's really lousy. You just brush past us all and stuff. So I, I, I saw it from that angle before I actually entered into show business myself. So I always thought, well, you know, if, if I can, I'll try and treat people OK, you know, because I remember how I got treated. Your old gag, let's write this song so we can buy a house. OK, let's write this song so we can buy a car. Let's buy this song so we can buy a pool. What drives you now? In truth, that was a gag. You know, it, it was true that while John and I but were sitting down. But it bought you a couple of houses. Uh, pool, too. No, it's true. When uh, John and I were sitting down, because we were young guys and weren't used to money, um, one of the factors uh, was that we would say, you know, let's write a pool. Uh, and that was great. It was a good motivating thing. But in truth, it wasn't the main motivating factor. We wanted to be artists. We were kind of bohemian type students at the time. You know, a lot of people were. And it was the art of it that we were really involved in. Um, but incidentally, it bought a pool, you know, so we latched onto that aspect and we'd say, OK, you know, now let's ride a bus. You know, so we had, we had fun with that idea. In actual fact, it wasn't the main thing. So now uh, the money aspect isn't the incentive. It's really just that I still enjoy to do it as much as I ever did. But that's what I'm picking up, is that you've got to survive, that mm. you've got to last. You just can't stand going Greta Garbo. No, I, I really wouldn't get any pleasure from that, you know. Um, around about the breakup of the Beatles, it became a possibility. You know, a lot of people did say, well, you've done it. You know, no problem. Just, just hang out for the rest of your life kind of thing, you know. But I would have written a song. And once I'd written a song, I would have wanted to record it. I wouldn't just want to leave it. And once I'd recorded it, I want to go and promote it. And so then the whole cycle starts again. It's just something I know how to do. Uh, I'm comfortable with it. I think if a carpenter retires, it doesn't mean he stops loving wood.